Um, I, I would say that this course has been has been good from the beginning, and I didn't really know what I was getting into at the time. I'd sort of searched out other um, comparable MSCs, and I have a friend completing one at another UK university, so it's been interesting to sort of compare notes. And I would say that this MSC is really focused around a, a breadth of knowledge and tends to to the pragmatic, I'd say a little bit more um, is sort of my impression on it. I think that it's, it's giving you lessons and teachings that are going to serve you well in the future. And that's both on the clinical and the academic side. This isn't a course where you're going to show up, say hi to somebody, be presented with a password for the university library, and then be expected to produce a 10,000 word paper on, on something in your first year. This is something where, where tasks and learning are broken down very well and allow you to really get into the specifics of different areas of treatment and clinical care. And the other side of that is, um, and one of my one of my favorites uh, is the unlocking literature and like Lucy alluded to as well, is, is learning more about critical appraisal and how to read a paper and some of the uh, some of the science behind that without having to have, uh, you know, an additional master's degree in statistics. And I think that's a difficult thing to accomplish, really, is to sort of learn to critically appraise a paper, but not have to be a master statistician. So um, this is definitely going to serve me well. I'm looking forward to um, next year and, and getting into the into the dissertation phase. Um, but the courses have been um, quite well put together. And I think that's quite a testament because we joined in the inaugural year of the program too. So I think that's always a bit tricky from a, a program perspective and then you know a little bit of unknown from a student perspective as well. But like Lucy said, you're coming into a, a respected institution. So it's, uh, you know, that, that helps to allay the fears and, and it's been it, it's been well done. I can't, uh, can't say anything negative about it, especially uh, like Dr. Nemo was saying um, over the summer and the efforts put forward to kind of get everybody through and make the teaching relevant as COVID uh, uh, clutched at everybody, I think was uh, well done and kept us all on track. And uh, we're currently in our uh, second unlocking literature course right now and working through, uh, you know, just how to critically appraise papers um, and looking forward to the upcoming electives. So. Um, there's a lot of reasons to join, and I think the the breadth of knowledge and the practical takeaways that you're going to get from this course are probably probably the two largest from my perspective. Um, uh, if it matters to anyone, I, I'm a critical care paramedic in British Columbia, and uh, here we work just uh, paramedics for retrieval teams and all critical care and interfacility transfers. So um, it, it's pretty important to stay up on your on your practice and. Uh, and be able to carry out conversations with all the other healthcare practitioners.